Hi everyone, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so it's Monday, the 27th, 27th of January, 2020. The month is almost over. Okay, so What should we talk about today? Well, for those of you who are still trying to forgive yourself for all the things that you feel like you have not become yet, it's time to forgive, right? Happiness has turned around to tell you it's time. The time is now, right? So forgive yourself, right? It's time to exonerate yourself from all the people that you couldn't save, right? For all the fragile hearts that you fumbled with with confusion in the dark, so to speak, right? It's like we fumble in the dark to find our way forward, trying to help others, when in actuality, it's time to just forgive yourself for not being able to help all of those who are not able to yet become. So, Let's accept the fact that we don't that we don't have to be where we were a year ago, right? And let's accept that we don't want the same things. And above all, let's believe with reckless abandon, right? That we're worthy. We are worthy of all the happiness, okay? All right, let's start the Monday off this way. I love that, with reckless abandon. I don't say that often. I haven't said that in a while. Oh, now I did. I love that. I used to say it a lot. Okay, let's get started. Monday, the 27th of January. <laughs> I saw that at the bottom of the deck, but I didn't think it was going to come out. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that because it does usually. All right, the start of something new. The heart. It looks, this looks, this, this card depicts to me Hercules holding the, the biggest heart ever, right? I mean, I'm ready. I'm at peace. I'm strong. I'm willing, able. I'm grounded. And I know what I need to do to make me happy, to have the courage, right? to have that courage to move forward to whatever you're going to do, right? Is it a new project, a new idea, money coming in? Something huge, though. Look at how big that coin is, right? It's new. And it's stable, right? Hercules is holding this very stable. And it has potential to grow, this coin has potential to grow hugely. It's massive, massive growth for something that you're going to do that you probably don't even know yet you're doing, right? Your intuition knows, but you don't know. Not yet. It's like a secret. It's like the universe has this secret. And the scroll reads. I'm being told to read the scroll. Darkness into darkness, the key to all mysteries, right? As we fumble through the dark, confused, not knowing 
not knowing yet what's to come, right? But look at how amazing, look at what's coming to those who feel they're worthy of, right? We're all worthy of it. So don't feel like this anymore. That's over. That's done. Done. That's the change that we've been going through. We've all been going through this feeling of being fragile, very fragile, right? And vulnerable. There's nothing wrong with vulnerability as long as we don't take it to the to the next step of um, insecurity, codependency, martyrism, things of that nature. There's a message coming in of what? The message is of to the self knowledge of maybe maybe you're going to learn or or something is going to be messaged to you as far as what you don't know right maybe you're going to get Sorry. maybe the message is is going to be spoken to in um, maybe you're going to find um, it's going to be like spoken to you um, from a friend, from a child. You know, it's kind of like you're going to, you're having a discussion, and suddenly this 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 convo is is going in the direction of oh my god, oh my god, you just gave me a great idea, right? The oh my god moment. Yes, that's what I should do, right? It could come from a child. It could come from the internet. It could come from a uh, something you read. Something you something within you is going to tell you. Literally, within you is within you is going to tell you what's going what is coming up next. You're gonna get you're gonna get the memo. That's what I hear. You're gonna get the memo. I love it. You're going to get the memo and it's going to make you so happy. Why? Because look at all the planets are aligned. Everything's aligned for this new start, this new beginning, new money, this idea that's going to make money and grow, this security, this, this heart that's bigger than ever that's been healed now is ready for the new and the unknown, right? I mean, look at it as a mystery unfolding before you, you know, witness it as that. And if you have a convo that is with a child and you're like, oh my God, that's exactly what I need to do. Accept it and start working on it. Or if it's something that just comes innately to you, then this is for you. This is having everything, having it all. Having it all because you had faith and you had trust right? And hope for your future. The hope for the future is right here. All right, I'll take these last three cards. Look at that. This is a rebirth. The rebirth, the devotion of the devotion and the growth. Look at the devotion and the growth of the heart that has healed breeds the divine love for which will will not only give you peace but you are reborn and to start over again literally here is the father and the mother if your father and mother are here they're helping you maybe that's who's going to give you you know maybe that's who you're going you're a child and you're asking your parents for advice on a on an idea of some, something that you uh, are, have been thinking about, but you were uncertain as to whether to bring it up. Something that your mother and father may be helping you with, even if they're here or on the other side. Maybe you're getting downloads of something that is going to become available to you that you didn't see coming. You didn't see this idea. You didn't see this. You've healed now. Also, you are healed as a child with mother and dad issues. You've spoken your peace. You have forgiven yourself. 
and now you can move on and you are whole. All right, so we have parents being a huge factor in the happiness and growth, prosperity, becoming whoever you're going to become is being guided by uh, your mother and father. And I'm saying it's both because, <laughs> right? Right here, the empress and the son, mother and son, mother and father. The son is the father, okay? All right, so I love that. We have the help of parents, which, you know, most of us need, not everyone, because we're confused. We've been confused. Look, we've been thinking and thinking and wrecking our brains. What? What is the next step? Where do I go from here? What do I do? I don't know. I'm not sure. Right? Where do I go from here? Well, now we have the Queen of Cups, which is all about all about knowing and intuition. This queen breathes this throughout her blood. She is the water that is, she transforms herself all the time because, because the feminine, this is the feminine, my fem, feminine, I say she because she is um, all about the feminine. So the feminine is guiding you insofar as where to go and which way to turn, not using, clearly not using your logic. Logic isn't needed here. It's your heart that's needed here. That's the language of the soul. The language of the soul is, is the heart, is the heart. So this queen of cups may be coming in to help you to show you the way, to open your heart, to show you something that you haven't seen before, to give you maybe a heads up. It could be a mother and or father figure also, right? Oh, and my printer just, and my printer just like decided to, to turn on. I mean, unbelievable. It's not unbelievable, it's believable. All right, so the planets are all aligning. This Queen of Cups is coming in to help you to see and open your heart. See something that you didn't see before, to learn something you didn't know before, to maybe expose something that, that was kept secret for a while, right? Secret knowledge. This could be a friend. This could be the parents. The mother and father here helping. All right, so for some reason, there's a lot of help right now going on in the universe. Well, there always is, but this is extraordinary, right? We have parents here helping their child, helping a child. Love it. Okay, and now it's just turned off. So we do have parents helping a child here. You could be the queen of, of cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? Let's look at the bottom of the deck. The ending of the old and a new cycle beginning. Well, how appropriate because we are now, we're form, you know, now it's the end of January. Things are happening. Whatever has completed itself, like the cyclical over and over, back and forth, all that's completed itself because now we can decide to go ahead in a new direction with the Ace of Pentacles, a new direction, a new goal. You, you know, the world is your oyster, literally. You can go be, do wherever you want is right here. All right, so there's much expansion and much growth. It is like close your eyes and pick where you want to go. The fool's right here, balanced. So that's you, ready to start new. Ready, the child is ready now. The parents have taught the child exactly what the child needs for this moment in time to pursue a new, a new, um, a new venture. You know, are you traveling? Are you going somewhere? Are you thinking about it? But more importantly, the heart now is open and healed. 
So now you can go wherever it is you want, right? And start a new cycle. That's what most of us are doing now, really. Most of us are starting a new cycle. Whatever has ended has completed itself, okay? The wisdom that you have achieved and attained is priceless. It really is. And no words need to describe the wisdom from the higher self, the father. This is the higher self, the father, giving you the wisdom um, and the knowledge, right? To forge ahead into a new pathway. Uh, two hearts here that beat as one. So something very significant could be coming to someone within the next two months, two days, two weeks, right? Okay? It's beautiful. And it's, it's an amazing reading. So let's forge ahead, right? Let's start making plans for whatever this is. We're opening our heart now to the new, to the unknown. Things that we are going to experience are going to be just like the value of this card cannot be spoken in words. This is valuable. It comes from the higher source. It comes from God. It comes from your, your, your um, higher self, the wisdom that this wise man has 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 come to understand right going within there are no words that can describe and no money that can buy that wisdom this is experience that's what this is called this is experience and this is how you're going to now move through your life with this light this light of knowledge that you can't really describe it to your friends when they say what changed, what's happened to you, what ha what's gone, what's going on. Well, you can't really describe it. You know what has happened. You know what you've been through. Only you know what you've been through. No one else can describe, can even like fathom it or describe it unless you've been through it, right? So sometimes words especially the hermit. The hermit doesn't need words. The hermit is all about the experience. And experience does not need to be spoken. You don't speak of it. You experience it, right? Okay, one more shuffle I'm hearing. The universe is definitely guiding this, this new beginning for those of you who this applies to, the universe is guiding this whole. Here is the power. Look at the experience of life that you have gone through is where you find your wisdom now and your comfort and your strength. Your strength. This is where you are going to get strong and become whoever you're going to become and whatever is coming to you, it has grounded you. It has solidified your foundation through this heavenly father, right? Your father, your grandfather, okay? You're getting downloads. You're getting intuitive knowledge, you might be getting, you know, this intuition, but the power is in the experience, not in the, not in speaking about it. The power is using your heart and knowing that the vision that you have for your life, your life experience is going to be speaking here loud and clear. This is life experience. It's not something you just talk about. Wow, look at that. Money. Money for a business. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Money for a business. Um, an idea growing by leaps and bound here. We have two Ace of Pentacles. You see this. 
So it, you could be partnering up with a queen of cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in a business, but I'm not feeling it as much as I'm feeling your you're getting, you're getting an intuitive hit, a vision, imagination. You're using your imagination to proceed. And through your life experience, your life experience is going to speak for itself. For others to see, for others to learn from, and for others to undergo the same that you have gone through, right? So now the choice is yours. Where do you go from here? This is a number seven. Where do you go from here? Well, you're going to, you're going to allow the universe to show you the way, right? Feel your way, not speak your way. Feel your way through here. This experience is all about feeling. Feel your way through the emotional turbulence that you've been through, this, this is the experience that you've been through. You can see the waters here were, were turbulent, right? And you've risen above that only to see the blessings here being bestowed upon you. Come on, right? Here is Here are the blessings. A new idea, a new start, a new beginning of some sort. And here the waters are calm. Why? Because you're going to be using your innate <clears throat> ability of intuition. Your intuition is going to guide you. So just understand that for now and let it be. Let that be. Let this, let this come to you. Understand that, right? We've got the moon here. It's going to come. The experience that you have achieved and attained is going to literally send you anywhere in the world that you need to be. And, and this is going to be your experience. So you may have this, this download that comes to you from your heart may come in as this new beginning. Look at the circle here of life. Look at that, the circle of life, not once, but three times, right? Three times the experience of life that breathes within you is called, hold on, <laughs> Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, being reborn, Mother, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Wow, what a reading. All right, let's get an Ascended Master card. Ascended Master card and Archangel card. This is a beautiful reading. So this is not, this is a, this is a new beginning, a new start, a new idea, a new life, breeding in within you after going into the depth and darkness of confusion, not knowing what it's going to be. It's going to be about your worth of through experience. This is the worth that you have gained. You have gained much worth from the experience that you have had in life, from all the, the, the decades of going round and round in your life now are going to to manifest into something real tangible okay tangible planting the seeds for a new future wherever that may be wherever that may be but it's not to be discussed it's not something you can talk about it's something that has already been it's something that you know you know right you know that this card cannot be spoken about, only experienced. And that's what you're going to shine. You're going to shine this experience, not shine it, but you're going to shine as through the experiences that you've had to show others what you've been through. Explaining, look, 
and something told me, look at, look at what's ahead. So for many going through this, this cycle and this new ace of pentacles showing up twice with the world is gone is gone are the days where your fragile heart is no longer. You're no longer fragile. You're have, you have been forgiven. And now it's time to turn this, this sucker around. Happiness is yours. Fragile hearts no longer. Walk, walk toward the hearts and the abundant blessings that are being bestowed upon many right now for the hard work. I mean, it's not, it's nothing but the, the hard work that you've learned and achieved and obtained. And you attained it through hope. You had hope for your life, hope for the future, loving and accepting without the experience of, you know, without the experience, you wouldn't have gotten to where you're at now. So you are worthy. Hope says love is yours. Recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts. Right? The experience and the wisdom came through a time of, of introspection and experience of life that you've been given and forgiven. Have a great day.